Greetings and welcome to uh, another desk update from me. So yeah, I've been kind of busy this month actually doing stuff. Uh, first to be mentioned, the SU27 that I'm doing for the group build, the Flanker YouTubers group build. I uh, actually got the thing painted, mostly. Just a little little things left to do before I clear coat it and start decals on it. So really liking this color and a video is being currently being made. Video is currently being made on that. <clears throat> and, and also in the YouTube video section of my modeling bench, my Chevy Cameo is coming along. Uh, started gluing the body stuffs on. And got this stuff all glued up and I'm starting to detail the uh, engine bay there and if you look closely in there you can see a little magazine that I made <laughs> and now it's stuck in there okay. let's do it like this made a little hot rod magazine for it to sit in the passenger seat um, I'm actually making a separate video on the stuff that I put in the back here I've got a bunch of these little Fujimi stuffs and also Scratch made some garbage bags which I am quite proud of actually I've got a full tutorial hidden inside the video with all this crap and that's what's happening in the YouTube side of my things uh, also, I felt like gluing stuff last weekend, so I built this T34-76. Actually... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Looks like this. It's ready for paint. Just gotta... Or no, almost ready for paint, I should say. I could just I gotta put a little putty on the on the gun there and stuff. But yeah, I've been spending some time at the bench, as you can probably tell. Um, yeah, so that's mostly what I've been doing. Uh, this stuff here has taken some time, as well as the uh, flanker has taken some time, what I've done with that, which is basically just paint. <laughs> and what else? Nothing else. But I got some fresh kits this month. My sister bought me this. Uh, Spitfire Mark 5B, 172 second scale. Actually a scheme that I've schemed scheme that I've been after a long time. I've uh, been looking at getting this aftermarket and stuff so I was thrilled to see that my local hobby store actually had it. And uh, yeah, my sister graciously offered to buy it for me because it's very cheap. But it is in fact the DODRF -D scheme with the uh, the Donald Duck looking figure here and I really wanted that and 70 second scale is even better because I've seen those only in bigger scales not that I've actually been looking that hard but I have been looking at it off aftermarket decal sets and stuff but now we got this and then I got a little something from Hobby Link Japan uh, ordered this a78 Corsair because it was uh, dirt cheap actually just a few hundred yens and also a few hundred yens was this Huey helicopter comes both in Japanese military and or Japanese self-defense force utility helicopter as well as a a US Army something and with a white stripe looks kind of interesting uh, I have not decided which which version I will be making, but I'm kind of leaning towards the U.S. Army as always. 
but the Japanese version also looks kind of cool in the tricolor camo. So both of these are real cheap uh, old molds with raised panel lines and stuff and plenty of flash, but for the price it'll be a fun build. And then I had some cars and pre-order. I got this Kiichi or Kishi Tsukuya, what I don't really know how to pronounce the guy's name, but this is what the Drift King drove in the Japanese Touring Car Championship at one time. So I had this on pre-order actually, and I'm kind of looking forward to build it. Uh, it has a lot of decals in it. Uh, a lot of complex decals in it, need to conform around some shapes and stuff, so it's going to be a challenge. But, last but not least, I got myself a Christmas present. I had this on pre-order since sometime this summer. Uh, the new B-Max Audi Quattro S1 Evolution 2 1986 Monte Carlo Rally version. Actually comes also in some other uh, numbers and a different rally, the San Marino race. Uh, it's driven by a Walter Ruhr, Ruhr, Walter Ruhr. <laughs> Another name I can't really pronounce, but anyways, uh, I saw this was coming out. I pre-ordered it the very second I found out about this. And I will be getting a PE detail upset with the correct tobacco markings and a PE antenna, uh, cloth, seat belts and stuff. So I'm saving that for my birthday next year. Uh, but uh, that's everything that I've got. Uh, this one here is my main project right now because it's so close to being finished I feel like, but actually I might be closer to finishing this guy because I'm detailing this guy too much so look forward to having a video on the flanker and the car sometime in December uh, the deadline for this has been uh, postponed or increased or whatever but uh, this used to be on deadline at the end of this year, but now it is at the end of February, so March 1st, I guess. But I plan on having this finished sooner, because I want to bring some fresh builds onto my desk, because I haven't finished the kit, I feel like, in a long time, but I actually finished that BTR last month. But anyways, uh, this has been my greatest and latest update of the bench. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.